days after farmers in Iwo land lamented about headsmen disturbance, check out what Oluwo of Iwo said. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Recall that the paramount ruler of Iwo, Oba Abdul Rashid Adewale Akambi, allowed Fulani headsmen to continue staying in his town. He even allowed more Fulani's headsmen to relocate to Iwo after being chased from other Yoruba lands. A few days ago, farmers in Iwo development said that Fulani headsmen have started disturbing them in the town after more Fulani headsmen relocated from Yoruba towns to Iwo land. Hmm. Hmm. Um, sincerely, I don't know. People are running from something. Somebody is running towards it. He's the only one that can say why he's doing that. I do not know what his intentions are. But me, I feel for every ruler who is, um, for every ruler, be you a monarch, be you a local government, be you a president, you, the interest of your people should come first, exact, especially their safety. Especially their safety. And if they cannot trust you with that, I don't know what exactly they can trust you with. Let's find out what he said. The news in detail. This is not the first time people of Iwo land will be raising alarm over the disturbance of Fulani herdsmen. Last month, according to the report by Venga newspaper, some youths in Iwo or State disclosed that the town is no longer safe as the monarch Oba Abdul Rashid Akambi extends a blanket invitation to herdsmen into the community. The youth said that the rate of influx of herdsmen into the community is worrisome, hence the decision to alert the public. Speaking in a viral video days after two famous lamented about herdsmen disturbance, Oliwo of Iwo was spotted addressing a group of Fulani herdsmen with their fleet of cows disrupting and eating crops in a farmland. Here is everything Oliwo of Iwo said to the Fulani herdsmen in the video. In this era and time, civilization has notified the needs of herding cows around. Remember, there were times when we have tribal marks, but now it is no more in existence. So the era of herding cows around the bush have passed. Some of you should start ranching. Keep your cows in your house and in your vicinity. Go out to cut fresh gas for your cows to eat instead of you going around with them. Disrupting and destroying farmland. Some of you can even start ranching business and sell to others. It is not even all of you that are supposed to be herdsmen. Look over there. See how your cows are disrupting that farm now. And this is what is causing troubles in the community and stirring up fight. I am sure you people don't want trouble too. So henceforth, keep your cows where you're living. Why some of you should go out and cut fresh grass for them to eat. And you will see how your cows will become big. Heading your cows around farmlands is causing problems between you and the farmers. The farmers took loans to buy seeds to plant. And I also understand that. You people are used to going around with your cows. But enough is enough. Soon we will make an announcement that we don't want to see cows roaming any, around anymore. So it is time for you people to start ranching business and sell to others. Look at the young ones. They should be in school and I come to your place to talk to you about the need for younger ones to be educated. Who will look at these young ones and call them kidnappers or criminals? But they need to be in school. Uncle, hmm. Did full any people, uh, you are, did you speak English to them or you spoke Hausa? Because me, I sincerely want to understand. Because these people, I believe language is also a problem to them. If you don't speak their language, and even if you do, what am I even saying? They kill fe their fellow uh, people in the north. Uh-huh. Uncle, you invited problem. Oh, this fire that is, that, that is about to engulf your building. You are the one that set it up. These people, you, they were chasing them from somewhere else and you brought them in and you are now speaking English, English to them. English that they don't understand. English that they don't understand. English that they don't understand at all. It's not possible, sir. I don't think this is the right way. You speaking this English to them, I don't think it will solve any issues because I want to say it that many communities that these people have affected or they have attacked, they have spoken English more bigger than this one. They have even spoken Hausa language or their own food and new language to them. But still yet, these people did not flinch. So you welcome them in. We are waiting to hear what happened. But sincerely, the people of Iwo, they don't deserve to be attacked because they, it was like they saw it coming and they told you. And you, you are doing Mr. Nice Guy with people's life. <laughs> hey! <laughs> This is just the beginning. The Fulani will soon replace him with an Emir, just like they did in Lori. Hmm. Hmm. 
This is good for Iwo people. The Oba, the residents should have chased them out of the palace long ago. You never see anything yet. Hmm. It is said that the lunatic and the junkard will have their lucid moments. The Iwo clown must have had such a moment after seeing the havoc wreck on the farmers by his full and invited guests. Okay. Sincerely, I'm, I'm even like he invited them onto one Nigeria. No, I'm sorry, I'm not generalizing, no. But sincerely, they said prevention is better than cure. Number one, these people don't even uh, they don't understand English. They refuse blatantly to go to school. Or their elite wants them to remain in darkness so that they're not going to be able to communicate to the outside world exactly what their problem is. Maybe that is deliberate. Oh. Maybe. Then when they come, even this, uh, this uh, heard us, if you see videos of them, when maybe you're talking to them, then your farmland, their face will just change. Like, I don't understand. That is why sometimes I say, whatever they tell them in their own place, I don't know. Did they tell them that you can go anywhere in Nigeria and do whatever you do and they're not going to threaten you because I don't understand? Is it what they were promised? Let us know. Maybe they promised them that, oh, once I'm the president, I'm going to do this and that. Maybe somebody else have gone there to also promise them. So don't worry. Hmm. You should all be guided. I repeat, if you are the leader, whether you are the monarch, whether you are the traditional ruler, whether you are the religious um, leader, whether you are the president or governor, the safety of your people. You should not joke with it. You should not allow until they are crying out to you before you do something about it. You should be what I call proactive. You should be proactive. Let's say, for instance, they say Corona is in the United States. What in Nigeria? The Nigeria started taking preventive measures, right? That is how you're supposed to be. Yes, I'm just saying that as a case, as a, as a case scenario, as an example. You heard that this family or oh, families in so -so -so land they are catching a kind of disease. What do you do? You swing into action. You start buying things that, that um, cures the illness and you start taking them. You prevent it from even getting into your family. But you invited the sickness in and now you're looking for a drug. Ah, okay. You did not try. Yeah, try, sir. How much did Fulani pay to this Oluwo that he protects Uwo people? When will Uwo people rise and get rid of this nonsense? The Oluwo have not seen anything yet. They were just showing him little of what they have come to do in Iwo. He will be shocked when they pass, when, then, when they pass their car around his palace and take over his kingdom. I think that's where his dream is leading it. <laughs> oh my God. I honestly pray that the remaining havoc on Lich to Gigafonja should be released on him so that he'll know how far. I think he's cutting a bag for money. I don't think so. But in there, he'll lose the relationship of Iwo to the full and and nobody will come to his aid because he asked them to come. Hmm. Oh, this is not funny. A word, I believe, is enough for the wise. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.